Hello YouTube, this is Russian Torts here, and today's video is going to be an exotic pet facts episode on the Pac-Man frog. Excuse me one second. Just need to close the door there and grab the sheet with all the information on it. So, um, Pac-Man frog really isn't the correct name for this species of frog. The name, their Latin name, I guess, is Ceratophrys, and they're also known as the South American horned frog. Pac-Man frog is just a nickname they got from having such a large mouth and, um, yeah, basically just a large mouth and the body of a frog behind the large mouth. <laughs> um, they are from uh, South America, obviously. So they live in Colombia, Argentina, Argentina, Argentina or Argentina, I don't know how to say that, Venezuela and um, adjacent countries. The um, females can reach up to six to eight inches in uh, size, so in, in diameter actually, because uh, the neat thing about the Pac-Man frogs is that they look like a fat circle from above. So, um, oh, look at that, he ate a cricket. I didn't think he'd eat the cricket on video on camera because he really, she, she, sorry, she's really shy. Um, but yeah, there you go, they eat crickets. I was going to come to that point later. Um, so females can reach up to six to eight inches in diameter and um, the way to tell apart if you have a female or male, because obviously at this age right now she's not six to eight inches, is that the males often croak, so um, if your frog doesn't croak it's a good sign that she's female, and the males also have um, spots on their chest a lot of the times and my frog does not have a spot on her chest, so my guess is she's female. Um, as for housing, they uh, need about a 10 gallon tank. One second, let me just put the lights on that tank. I'll be back in a minute. All right, so I'm back. I just put the lights back on. So they'll need a 10 gallon tank approximately. This is, this is the 10 gallons. And that should probably house them their whole life because even though they get huge, they really don't move. Because my Pac-Man frog, just sits in this hole right here all the time and there's just a hole there because I duck her out to feed her and um, yeah so they really don't move. All this decoration here is just for me because I like the way it looks. So they need a 10 gallon tank. Um, you'll want a nice loose substrate that's fairly deep so that's about two inches I'd say, two or three inches and um, you want a substrate that they can burrow in and you may need to make it de deep enough so that they can burrow in it so two to three inches nice loose moist substrate and a really nice loose moist substrate is Eco Earth which is just cocoa fiber you don't need to buy Eco Earth if you don't like that brand just any sort of cocoa fiber the temperatures need to be around um, as you can see on there it's at 70 right now so between 70 and 80 degrees Fahrenheit you'll want a humidity of about 80 percent the humidity is 70 right now but I have a mister in there which is gonna come on in half an hour or so and you'll want, um, in the winter months, you really, depending where you live, I live in Canada, it gets really cold here, you need um, heating. So I have a heat lamp up there, a ceramic heater that doesn't emit any light. And then I also have a UVB bulb. UVB, you, it's argued if you need it or not, but I know reptiles need it to process calcium. So I put one on there anyway. If you do use a UVB lamp, use a nice and low power UVB lamp because you don't want to burn your frogs. If you happen to have an albino Pac-Man frog, do not use a UVB lamp because um, their skin is really, really sensitive. So, um, as for food, don't want to startle this guy again. I'm just going to come down here. He's probably not going to eat that last cricket. He normally eats one cricket every couple of days. I don't know why. She. I keep saying he. She. So, as for food, um, crickets, mealworms, waxworms, silkworms, feeder fish, roaches are all fine. The most important part is to vary the diet. So, um, um, your frog should not just have crickets or just worms or just mice for example just mice is a terrible idea but um yeah so what I feed my frog right now is just crickets because I've tried worms many many times different kinds of worms I've tried silk worms I've tried horned worms I've tried wax worms I've tried butter worms and it's just crazy he doesn't like worms at all so he just gets crickets so what I do to a various diet is really feed the crickets really really well that's the most important parts to keeping the crickets healthy for the frog anyways just feeding the crickets themselves very well so yeah um thank you for watching on this this exotic pet facts episode 
I'm sorry I haven't been uploading for a while, it's just, you know, busy life, homework, exams, and so on. Grade 12 is important. So, um, yeah, if you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below or on my Facebook page, which is Russian Torts, same as my YouTube account. Yeah, and uh, I'll try to upload some more videos, but I can't promise anything. Thank you for watching.